There's, there's photos being posted on Instagram and uh, whatever other social media, but it's this cannoli that always gets me. It's a very, very good morning from the town of Volterra, one of the hidden delights, the gems of Tuscany, because a lot of people do venture out into cities such as Pisa, Siena, Lucca, Florence and others. But this is one of the hidden delights, the gems of Tuscany. The architecture that you find famous that's all over the uh, Tuscan uh, villages, towns and cities. Amazing brickwork and uh, architecture that you find. So I want to find out what this town of Volterra is like. I want to know what's here. I want to see what they've got to offer because this is uh, not one of the ones that's widely visited by a lot of tourists. In Few people have just got into a restaurant, I think, just over here. Just noticed a uh, church here on the corner of uh, two streets actually. One street here, one street here. Amazing structure inside. See the uh, candles that people have offered as well. It's got a box here where you can put your money in, your coins and your notes, make an offering to light a candle. That's amazing, amazing structure. In, uh, it's pretty much a start of Volterra actually, but amazing to find this right here. So let's have a look a bit further up. Seems like a tower just up here. You can see uh, more washing been put out onto the washing lines that hang outside. Just coming up towards a tower. I want to see what this tower is about actually. Maybe a clock tower. Might have been used for defences back in the day. Hard to tell from here but there's a, it's uh, quite steep going up towards this tower. That's in his glory. That's an amazing structure. Tuscany is actually full of towns and cities that have a number of towns. Got uh, one of the local shops here selling chopping boards, all sorts of uh, spoons and utensils. Probably uh, locally sourced wood as well. And, uh, arts and crafts in shops like these. See, this is what. Um, you should be visiting uh, shops like these that sell local goods. Keep them afloat because uh, the cities that mainly people go to, and uh, it's towns like this that are worth visiting. I mean, there's everywhere you look. There's the streets. You know, we'll have to go this way or we'll go that way. I can try this way actually. See what's down here. There's always uh, something or another that you find, some sort of hidden delight, a gem. Whether it's a cafe, a restaurant, or a shop, there's always something. There's uh, the ice cream, gelatos as well. <laughs> Gelato is famous all over Italy. And uh, whenever you're here, that's the sort of thing you should have. Oh, more chopping boards. More chopping boards. Amazing links between these buildings. I mean, look at the, uh, the archways that they've got. The bakery over here, but. I'm amazed with the architecture, the style of the building. Sells pastries, cakes, snacks, chocolates, coffee. Found a really good place in Volterra. The family are already here sitting there with their goodies. Got a couple of cannolis, a croissant and some uh, tart I think. But they've got amazing selection. Sandwiches, rolls, cakes, biscuits as well all sorts of uh, the smaller cannolis uh, croissants with cream chocolate and uh, cakes as well amazing i've also got a selection of wines here as well because i guess during the day people come here eat their selection of meats and have a drink or two amazing selection here so we've ordered a couple of uh, cannolis, a croissant, what have you ordered, what have you got, what is this, 
You don't know what it is, but you've ordered it. What have you ordered? Chocolate croissant. Chocolate croissant. There's a cappuccino for me as well. And uh, a couple of cannolis there because you can't go wrong with a cannoli. And uh, coffee in Italy is the business as well. But yeah, it's fancy the um, stopping in uh, to a cafe, a proper Italian cafe, because often these things get overlooked as well because people just rush out, eat pizza and pasta, that's all they're concerned about. But you can't beat coffee in uh, Italy. Uh, it's one of the countries, I think, uh, around the world that you've got to have it. I mean, look, I mean, there's, there's, there's photos being posted on Instagram and uh, whatever other social media, but it's this cannoli that always gets me. If ever you see my Mercato Metropolitano video in London, uh, there's a really good cannoli place from there, and that's the first video that I did featuring cannoli. And uh, it's always a, a, a type of a dessert, sweet dish that I always prefer in uh, Italy or anywhere else that I can really find it. And Zim cannoli as well in Philadelphia, I did a video there as well. That was another cannoli one. That was actually a really good one, Pist pistachio one, I think I had that. But this one is, I think this is um, pistachio with something. There's a glacé cherry uh, cherry on there as well, glass of cherry. Uh, it says cherry, definitely a cherry and not a cherry. The good thing about places like Volterra and uh, small towns, small cities, villages etc is that you find some real hidden gems i mean look at this i mean this is just i'm at a fence actually well I'll, I'll, I'll make a vlog here because i'm going to visit this place there's an old roman theater where back in the day actors would have enthralled the audiences with their plays and their dialogues and their lyrics and a uh, old roman bath here as well and this is what you find on uh, when you're on the prowl and uh, amazing, amazing architecture, amazing scenery here. And I will make a separate vlog on this because I will visit this. Uh, but just this, I'm just on the outside of the railings actually. Let's put the camera through. But this is what, this is what you find in places like this. Amazing, amazing Roman ruins here, uh, off the beaten path. How many people have even heard of uh, Volterra? Not, uh, not many, I guess. Tuscany is famous for other cities like Florence, Siena, Pisa, and even probably Lucca as well. You can add that in there as well. People will probably have heard of those. But yeah, this is what you find whilst on the prowl. That's a, my short, sharp vlog in Volterra, uh, just to show you the, the, the sights and sound, the streets, uh, just to see what they've got. And uh, do come down to places like this, uh, off the beaten path. This is where you want to be people generally go to the the bigger cities but i mean it's amazing everywhere you go everywhere you walk this is what you find history architecture amazing buildings amazing sites so from the streets of volterra it's goodbye <laughs>